Happy. He gets a one-on-one -on -one against Slaughter. That's like a dream lane. I mean, they, they, have to, they have to adjust to help out Cuckoo in this bottom yeah, lane. Yeah, well, mid lane, we're going to see a charging from Jesse Vash. He was looking to try and get the block off, but in fact, with the Arctic burn slow, he's moved, looking to move in, and they'll get themselves first blood there. Raging Potato. At the same time, OG did get the kill bottom, but just not quick enough to get the first blood as Mineski there through the door first. Choice. Maybe you put the Wyvern up there and you play Darkseer Spirit Breaker bottom, but they can't beat the Gyro either. That's why this was a really good pick out from OG. I mean, Moon's just running down. Cookie says, level one Ember Spirit. Yes, please, I'll try for some of that. Cookie has been surged up. Moon's trying to find his way around and I think they, he should be able to get the second. The shell might be enough to force him off. There's a charge coming in and maybe Moon's built up a bit more than he can chew. They'll actually get the same change. This will help out Cuckoo a lot if he gets involved in that and they will. They do get the kill on Moon. They're able to punish his greed there as... Well, actually is on Spirit levels. Breaker tried for a charge but there was a leaner there so Crick cancels the charge. The telekinesis. Raging Potato moving in onto Miracle. Miracle's got the bold charges. Five mana short from the Laguna. Oh, meanwhile. Okay, top lane. There was a revenge kill as he got the kill on Ember as as well opening and it's not gonna be too easy against these two but this time he does have support yeah, I don't think OG are aware of what they're getting themselves into here. Uh, and here we go. Brains have on to Kuku. He's got to get himself out. Fact, he ends up going down. Fly gets the kill there with the last right click. And OG are going to be all right. No tail salving up their still. It is not going to be a nice end sticking. Moves level seven. Moves him with the crush. Look at this physical damage. Half of his health gone. He needs one bash. Is he going to be able to find it? In fact, he might not even need a bash here. Moves just going to move in. One more slap to the back will do. And he gets the kill on the Ember Spirit. No help there for Kuta, and we're seeing him not having a good time up top. The charge was coming through, but Jesse Vash might need to be careful. Bane is there if they can look for a setup. In fact, he's just going to stand there, take a crush to the face as Moon moves in. The brains start bringing him down low, and they'll get themselves another kill up top. Mineski just feeding OG here on the top lane. Yeah. Hotel a solo kill if he times it right. I don't think he saw Vash there, actually. Vash has got the charge. Oh, he did. Rubik's pinging it out, at least. And they want to rather go for Raging Potato. You already said how he was doing the best this far. There we go. Cool down from the tree line into the telekinesis. They move forward. They'll get themselves the kill. Moon was there as well as we talked about him, setting himself up in the mid lane. Yeah, so OG definitely have the potential to, to fight back hard. It's just going to be a question of how it kicks off. In fact, they're also being joined by Big Daddy. This could be a bad part for Mineski straight away. On to Raging. The corner pace has come out, but with the Fiend Scrim. Horny Cuckoo in the cool down. Coming on to the three. They're taken down two, and now they're going to move in for more. They should be able to final three as Moon chases in, gets the crush on the Wyvern. Three kills for OG, and Mineski did not want to be there. We talked about the smoke. They have all the items they actually need and a level advantage. Mineski can't fight them at all right now. It's it's really that simple. Who are they going to go for? If they find Potato, so that's the one that they're going to want. And there we go, straight in with the crush. Amplifies down as well. Caught out from Big Daddy, but he's already dead. The Lena. Now the try moving of Jules as well. Miracle coming forward. He'll hunting burn here up to the high ground, Jules. Trying to juke this out, but Moon's already there with the wraparound. Gets a crush onto the Wyvern. They'll bring down Jules as well. Two more kills for OG. Now push down the middle tower. And it is not looking great. And now Fiend's grip straight up from Flyer to Cuckoo. They send Miracle in. He's looking for the Requiem. He's not actually going to cast it here, realizing that the timing wouldn't be there. Cuckoo was able to get out with the Remnant. Played as well. And now strategized in their leaning. I'll fly it towards the mid with crit. They'd love to try and find Cuckoo. There is some backup from an SBS trader with the telekinesis there. She went curse on to fly, locking him in place. They might be able to find the bane. He'll drop out of brain sap, nightmare himself, try and walk this off. Looking to get out with the charges. Maybe with the crush on fly! He's gonna live! Moon saves it with the crush! Holy but it's back! Finally the charge comes through. Jesse will finish off fly, but they lose Cuckoo and they're probably gonna lose Jesse as well as OG move in. Amplified down. Look at these right clicks from Miracle. Looks like Beast back on the menu, boys, as the cow goes down two more kills for OG and again trade after trade going the way of the dire and this is this is a bit of reminiscent of kind of game two yesterday in the Mineski out against secret just being outclassed by the opponents and well add chicken to the menu now as Jules the frozen bird will fall everyone on OG has been playing pretty much their A game they've made very very few mistakes they're assessing their strengths very well. Oh, and why I mean, not? literally just crushing the opponents here, dominating for Miracle. Mineski looks it's... completely. Crafting is worse. Their play so far has not been that good either. OG, on the other hand, they're playing maybe the best they have so far in the tournament, and it makes Cuckoo. for a very, very one sided game. Rather deep here. He's got the remnant back, but Moon, he's ready with it. He's there with the anticipation, hiding in the trees. New Aid Remnant 2, and they'll bring down the Ember Spirit. Once again, OG just one step, not just one step ahead, that to say listen. Could be better. Miracle. Just gonna walk in. Sees Lena. Gives her a punch. Lena and another. And 
Oh, hello, miracle. I mean that that this oh, okay, Mansa's done, he's cool. He's got the mech and he just walks it up. There is another strike there, Miracle. He does of course still have the Aegis. It might not even be pot. Moon kills the Darks here. They're moving forward for more. Miracle doesn't lose the Aegis. He just walks back in here with the haste rune. There's your crush, there's your kill. Miracle now in a mega kill streak. With this DD Moon as well. Raging Potato. And Cuckoo up there on the top lane. Here we go. OG's in love with the Cuckoo and they'll take him down again. They get themselves another one onto the Amber Spirit. Aggressive ward they have. Actually did spot the Lina and... Oh, now he spotted the Wyvern. This is a free kill. Bye bye. And straight in. Now Raging Potato will turn around, get to Lights Tide. There is a shot. Kidding, not a free kill. <laughs> and they get the Laguna onto Moon. Moon's gonna fall. Chains onto both Fly and Crit. They drop the wall here as well. Miracle, he's just waltzing around trying to clean up. They hold back Kuka with the telekinesis. Crit with the stolen flame guard will keep himself alive, but Kuka still finds the kill. It's a two for one in the moment for Mineski. This is potentially it. Life strikes to get with though. They've got the charge. Fiend's grip coming from Fly. Over the wall onto Raging Potato. Double kill for Miracle. They just can't kill this Shadow Fiend at the moment, and now they've got to run. Ryo gets taken down by No Tail there. With the gyrocopter, and even though that was pretty much the best fight the Mineski have had all game, it we go OG, turn up the wave at the same time. Mineski doing what they can to hold back this push, and up to the high ground they go. OG Cuckoo getting the change onto Miracle as you call down from No Tail, just creating the space to move forward. Moon jumps in. No Tail continuing to just push onto the tier three, out to the four to carefication. Jesse with a charge, he's gonna hold it back here. And but the nightmare from Fly Country. They just back him on wall onto two, catching Miracle and Moon. Raging throws down the light strike, but No Tail's just doing so much damage at this point. He's taken down one, there'll be a buyback on the Lena. Moon looking for the crush, will get it on the Spirit Breaker. Homing missile onto Cuckoo. Miracle looking for the Wreck Room for the sidelines, bringing Jesse down. There's two down at the moment, double kill for No Tail. Trying to do what he can with the slide, but Cuckoo just doesn't have the damage. They'll lose the Ember Spirit as well. There's a buyback on Jesse, a buyback on Ember Spirit. They're looking to try and turn OG are fairly low at this point. Maybe they can try and find something. They get the chains onto Moon. Is it going to be enough to tick him down? Not quite. Moon lives on 15 HP and they're out. They're out. OG, they're happy with what they've achieved. They force out the buybacks and uh, that's actually going to be it. Mineski cool GG and OG will take game one. And what a performance since Mineski have got to do something in touch. As the panel mentioned, and 